from September 2019 to April 2022. Technology evolved, and blockchain kept on its growth. And speaking of that, let me introduce you to Blockstart. Blockstart was an EU-funded blockchain accelerator. It provided almost 800,000 euros equity-free in three programs. It supported 60 solution providers and 67 end-user SMEs. These companies came from different sectors like retail, fintech, and ICT. Three entities managed Blockstart, BrightPixel, an early-stage VC investor in B2B software startups, Civita, a leading innovation consultancy in the Eastern and Central Europe, and F6S, a global tech founders community. Well, now that you know who it was and who made it happen, let me tell you how it went. Blockstart held three acceleration programs. Each started with an ideation kickoff event, lasting around two days. 20 to 23 startups had the chance to pitch and meet several SMEs. After that, we entered the prototype stage. During four months, 10 startups developed and validated their MVP. And finally, we arrived at the pilot stage. For two months, five to six startups implemented pilots in SMEs and pitched at a demo day. Blockstart had a lot to offer to its participants. Let me highlight some of the main benefits. Equity-free funding served as an initial stimulus, but the true value came from market validation and growth support with a group of mentors with very different profiles. In that group, there are investors, founders, CTOs, business developers, all contributing to transform ideas and technologies into products and businesses. And of course, Blockstart provided several moments of networking, precious networking. Blockstart also generated some interesting stats. Take a look at some of the main ones. It received applications from 317 startups, 173 SMEs, coming from 55 countries, with pilots implemented in 55 companies, and over 200 mentoring sessions held, which led Blockstart to a satisfaction rate of over 90%, a program that caught the attention of the public considering that over 250 press articles and more than 800 social media referrals were created about Blockstart. At the end of the day, there were 60 startups and 67 SME adopters. Let's give credit to the finalists among them, shall we? Starting with To Be Smart IoT for a COVID-free office. There was also Datarella, tracking for supply chains. Rexis IO data notarization. Kedian, last mile delivery monitoring. Infidia, invoice verification for invoice financing. These were the first acceleration program finalists. Moving on to the second program, it's time to talk about its five finalists. There was Come Together, ticketing with Health Passport. Abiza, platform for agriculture insurance. Notary, digital document certification. Loan X Chain, Secondary Loan Marketplace, and Moto Blockchain, Digital Identity for Motorcycles. And the finalists for the third and last program were AgeVault, EV Charging Digital Ecosystem, Block Frauds, Fraud Detection for Insurance, BlockTac, Blockchain of Things Devices, Communitaria, Social Currency Enabled by Solar Energy. There was also Digital Village, Social Metaverse, and Hopio, industrial emissions monitoring. But why talk about the protagonists when we can hear directly from them? I would like to thank you, Blockstart team for the great super received during Blockstart program. We were able to develop two IoT prototypes and also to test them with four different early adopters. The funding received, also if limited, was really useful in our case because it led us to develop a prototype that alternatively should have remained in idea stage. A personal agreement goes to Joao Fernandez, who were really always available to support us and who helped us in spreading multiple blockchain message through invitation in several online events. Blockstart was definitively and on a positive experience for us. I really thank you for this great opportunity. Hello, this is Evelyn Mora. I'm the CEO and founder of Digital Village. Our experience with Blockstart was incredible. 
We got to work with European SMEs. We validated our product all the way from the marketplace and metaverse and the blockchain interface village protocol side. We created several demos and prototypes with our clients. We understood what our clients need um, and how we can really develop our product further. We got to meet uh, experts and investors. Um, we got mentored by Joao himself um, and I think Blockstart has contributed to the success of Digital Village uh, tremendously. We've raised since joining Blockstart over $2 million and gathered over $200,000 of grants. So thank you so much for having us. It's been a pleasure. Great recommendation for Blockstart from my side. I really feel that we're building the future of blockchain-based finance together. And I'm really thankful to their great people such as Joao and Nugnus and I feel grateful for being a part of their ecosystem as well, being a judge and a mentor and meeting some great startups along the way. Let's build the future of blockchain together and start with Blockstart. It's been brilliant being part of Blockstart. The mentoring has been excellent. A particular shout out to Joao Fernandez and also to Mirko Kikovic of Infidia from Cohort One, who is a particular star too. So thank you both. And Blockstart also helped us focus earlier than we'd planned on SMEs. And we are so glad that we did, because the value that is out there, the sheer scope and agility and collaboration has been incredibly valuable for our business. So thank you for that, Blockstart. Blockstart allowed some companies to achieve big accomplishments. For example, Datarella signed a two-year contract with the European Space Agency, and there were several funding rounds from VCs that deserve attention, like Ibiza, who got 1.5 million euros, and Digital Village, raising $2 million. As you can see, Blockstart had real impact. And speaking of impact, let me give you some numbers about it. Since the start of the program, startups attracted more than 120 clients, hired 60 employees, received 5 million euros in public grants, and raised 13 million euros of private investments. All these facts allow us to say that Blockstart was much more than an accelerator. It was an ecosystem builder. It empowered startups, SMEs, associations, investors, and policymakers. This empowerment was achieved with practical knowledge of blockchain challenges and use cases, 30 events, the Do You Need Blockchain Assessment Tool, 15 public reports about blockchain, newsletters, more than 100 blog posts, over 900 social media posts, fostering digital communities with hundreds of members, in Slack and Telegram. As a conclusion, let's give space to a few final words from some of the key people behind Blockstart. Blockstart challenged blockchain startups to go beyond technology and validate its product market fit facilitating win-win partnerships between solution developers and SMEs in the form of pilots, commercial agreements, and even joint ventures. In parallel to the acceleration services, we organized dozens of events exploring several blockchain-related themes. From NFTs and DeFi to sustainability and self-regulation. We demystified blockchain and went beyond the hype, explaining potential of Web3, and showcasing specific examples of how this technology can help a society be a better place. Yes, Blockstart came to an end, but we hope that through our website, with all the company's profiles, reports, articles, and videos, its impact endures for years to come. The truth is that this project counted on an essential support, the European Union Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Program. To the European Commission and everyone who is a part of Blockstart's journey, we express our deepest gratitude. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Many thanks.